tonight on Evening. That's amazing. Yeah. We're so glad that 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 happens in your house every night. The viewer message that rendered Team Evening speechless. I'm John Richards. Coming up, I'm going to tell you how you can see one of the best local bands live right here in the morning. This is Us star Justin Hartley on the show's emotional new episodes. Get your Kleenexes ready. Get your wine ready. And I'm Kim Holcomb in Seattle where Capitol Hill and the Central District meet because we figured that this cold, gray, cold weather may be getting you down a little bit and we found a place that can help warm you up. It is a restaurant that specializes in one of the greatest comfort foods, mac and cheese. It's comforting, you know. It's always nice and warm in here. <laughs> The solution to Seattle's dark and drizzly nights may be inside this whiskey bar, where mac and cheese is made to order. This tiny walk-up window is the restaurant Melt, operated by a husband and wife who know their menu is hard to resist. <laughs> Just feel, I guess, like feel comforted, like enjoy the food and the you know warm, gooey, melted cheese. Like. We put a lot of cheese, and we use really good quality cheese. It's not something you would just get out of the box. Their flavors are far more unique, like the popular Noki Truffle Mac or Gorgonzola Bacon. They also sell lots of melted cheese on grilled sandwiches. The really popular one is the turkey pepperoni. So it's a herb roasted turkey, pepperoni, roasted red peppers. It's just really good basil. Melt is part of a growing Seattle trend, restaurants sharing space with bars. Their window is tucked inside Bar Soup, where you can also warm up with a cocktail. Visit during their Happy Minute from 6 to 6.30 p.m. Melted delicacies are just a couple of bucks. A cheap and delicious way to come in out of the cold. It just makes you feel good and full and warm and, yeah. Ah, uh, sometimes all you need is cheese. We should mention though that since Melt is inside Bar Sioux, kids are not allowed, but they do deliver through Postmates and Uber Eats, and they are open every night of the week except Monday, starting at 6 p.m. Well, if you wanted to go to Melt and then make a night of it, there's lots of great live music happening in town, and no one knows your options better than John Richards from listener-powered KEXP. Here he is with this week's Music That Matters. Thank you, Kim. I am here at the KXP Gathering Space again, where we gather for great live music. And earlier today, we had one of the best local bands on, Car Seat Headrest, performed here at KXP. And tomorrow morning, one of my other favorite local bands, Naked Giants, play at 9 a.m. You can actually come down here and hang out and see the session. And you can see them right here. Naked Giants have been setting stages on fire in 2016, and they have a brand new album in the works for 2017. If you do stop by tomorrow morning, make sure you stop by La Marzocco and get a cup of coffee. They open up at 7 a.m. each and every day. And I'd like to congratulate this great cafe that won the Sprudgy Award for Best New Cafe, not just in Seattle, but the entire country. They are great. Coffee's pretty good, too. All right. Want to remind you about live shows, that's what we're here for, and Fruit Bats are going to be playing down in Ballard at the Tractor on Thursday. Here's a Fruit Bats live on KEXP with the title track to last year's album, Absolute Loser. The opening band at that show, by the way, is Springtime Carnivore. You can also catch Springtime Carnivores live here on KEXP at noon on Thursday. On Friday, a band that was just on the morning show, another great local band. We got a lot of those here in Seattle. Smoky Brights are gonna be at the Croc. The show is on Friday at the Croc in support of their new album called Hot Candy, which came out last year. On Friday, one of the most anticipated albums so far of 2017 comes from the XX. It's been five years since they put anything out. And fun fact, they made their US radio debut live on the morning show. I thought I had you the XX play Wamu Theater on April 24th and pre-sale tickets for that show went on sale today. Finally today, it would have been the 100th birthday of Atlantic Records super producer, Jerry Wexler. The man coined the phrase, Rhythm and Blues. Today, 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 today.
Today also happens to be the day in 1968 that Aretha Franklin's Chain of Fools was certified gold. It was one of many, many hits for Jerry Wexler and Atlantic Records. He also signed and produced for Ray Charles, the Allman Brothers, Led Zeppelin, Dire Straits, Bob Dylan, and so many more. Wexler lived to 91, and Aretha is still thankfully with us and hopefully will be here for many more years. I'm John Richards, and this has been The Music That Matters. Thank you, John. You can listen to John weekday mornings on KEXP 90.3 FM. Well, if you're watching us on two screens right now, then get over to Twitter and talk to us. We're live tweeting right now, and we really do love hearing from you guys. In fact, sometimes we love what you say so much, we show it on the show. This is this week's Evening Inbox from Ciudad Grill in Georgetown. Let's begin with a reference to last Tuesday's show. Okay. Bigfoot, a comedian I understand, says, Poor Jim. His voice almost what? gave out. Everybody else was hung over? LOL. <laughs> what's wrong with my voice? I know your poor no, voice. No, literally, is so odd. what's wrong with my voice? No. Why well, won't it get better? This is because you, you got sick over the holidays, but then you've been fine now. Yeah. It's kind of a new, I'm going to go into voiceover work. I like it. In a world where one man can make a difference. <laughs> it's very sexy. And by the way, we were not, well, I wasn't hungover. You guys I weren't hungover. No, we no. didn't know. Working on, that's the thing about working on New Year's Eve and that yeah. whole weekend. Yeah. You don't You're actually working. get to. People think that we are just partying our heads off there. No. We really aren't. It's actual work. Yeah. Folks. <laughs> Very difficult work. We, I actually put up a picture uh, recently, since it's been so cold, about our cat's dish, the water dish outside. This That's was amazing. Wild. It formed an ice spike. I've since learned a lot about these things. Uh -huh. right. And I've learned that what happens is a little hole forms and the, the water pushes through and creates an ice spike. Okay. Right? For real? That, yeah, that's what happened. I thought oh. you thought it was aliens. At I, first, did, right? I did initially think it was aliens, and I put it on okay. Facebook. Makes and. Uh, Chris Ann, yeah. Chris Ann says, uh, I'm no scientist, but I'm pretty sure it's cat magic. Oh. So she thinks it's cat magic. So not sense. aliens. No. That's, a good, that's a good idea. Magic. Science, cat magic. I think they're waiting. Oh, I go with your backyard when that happens. <laughs> okay, this is kind of an amazing message that we got on our Facebook page from Linda, who says, I want to thank you guys so much. My husband has advanced Alzheimer's disease, but we watch your show nightly. He always has a laugh and recognizes you on your commercials. I just want to thank you for giving us something to smile about. Oh, that's cool. We want to thank you for sending us that message because that's, that's very sweet. amazing. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're so glad that, that that happens in your house every night. And thank you for watching us. We really are all so moved by that message. Thank you for sending it. And we would love to hear from all of you, whether it's via email or Facebook or Twitter. Let us know what you think of the show, and we may share what you said on the air. Well, you may have something to say about this next thing. We are actually sending Jim to Atlanta today to gently harass some Falcons fans before this weekend's big Seahawks game. Hey, Jim. Oh, yes, Kim, I will be gentle, but the people of Atlanta won't know what hit them. I'm taking all the essentials. Of course, I've got two dozen top pot donuts. That's essential. A megaphone. Hello, hello. You always have to take one of those along with you, right? Let's see, what else do I have to put in here? I've got the uh, fan jersey. That's going to be necessary. And um, I'm not sure what I'll be doing with this yet, but it's going to be spectacular. The next time you see me, I'll be in Atlanta. Ahead on evening, this is us star Justin Hartley. Plus, beauty on demand, there's an app for that. My kids think I'm kind of old and boring. And for these Washington moms, it's a new look for the new year. Welcome back to the show on this chilly Tuesday night. We are on Capitol Hill, right where it meets the Central District in Seattle tonight. And listen, you work hard, you deserve to be pampered, but sometimes making time for a new haircut or a massage can be difficult. Well now, there is a local company that brings the beauty to you. Check it out. Going out on the town with your friends is always fun, but for Catherine <laughs> Philly, this night is extra special. So we are going out for my bachelorette party. I have no idea what anybody has plans. The only thing Catherine does know is that thanks to a local company, she and her friends are going out looking good. So the name of our company is Cowsel, and we are an app that brings beauty on demand. Think of them as the Uber for hair and beauty. Towsold helps provide a variety of styling services to those on the go. Now you can book hairstylists, makeup artists, barbers, massage therapists, 
directly to you all through your smartphone. So I'm going to be putting some primer on your face first. Uh -oh. and then For Catherine and her crew, it was far easier to have Tousled's team of mobile makeup artists meet them at their room here at the Bellevue Hilton, then work around a schedule in a salon. Um, trying to get a bunch of different people to come to a salon and having to make an appointment is really, really a big hassle. So having them come to us is a huge benefit. We've saved them a lot of time and hassle, and we, we have such a large network of service providers, more than 200 local professionals throughout the Seattle area, so we have somebody close to our clients no matter where they are. I love it. It's amazing. Gosh, no wonder Josh is marrying me. <laughs> From wedding days to bedridden patients, the online service has been a big help to those with a busy schedule and for those who want to avoid something truly ugly. People are just basically really appreciative that they don't have to head out in this uh, famous Seattle area traffic. After a couple of hours of hair and makeup. I love it. Definitely not something that I could pull off on my own. <laughs> Catherine is ready for her big night to begin. I love it. So let the bubbles flow. Dalsold hopes their beauty on the go idea makes both you and them look the best. Oh, it is such a great idea. You can download the Tousled app for both Apple and Android phones. Well, it is the new year, means it's time for a new you, and we helped two hardworking Western Washington moms get makeovers by teaming up with our friends at Cupro Kai Salon. Here's Michael with the before and afters. Tawny Runyons and Mia Calderon have a lot in common. Both are devoted Western Washington moms in their 40s in need of a little motivation to get them back on track. It's gotten to the point where it's just, you know, it's, it's a lot of upkeep and um, I'm not motivated enough every day to get up and do it. My kids think I'm kind of old and boring and I don't feel old and boring on the inside, but you know, you walk past the mirror and you're like, wow, maybe, maybe they're right. Enter the Cupro Kai Salon Glam Squad. Maybe one more, yeah, on this side. First up, Mia's color. She really likes the red, she likes the pop and fun, so we wanted to keep that with her. What we see with her freckles in her face is she'd be much more like we call an Irish red, so more of a copper color. So we started to head in that direction and sort of calm down the blue a little bit and bring in that warmth. We're going to do something that she can either wear it curly or wear it straight. So uh, we're going to have bring in some nice some nice bangs and soft waves. Tawny gets a low maintenance cut and color that's not short on style. She had some some gray hair in the front, so we foiled light through the front and then toned it with a kind of a light um, gold and a blonde, just so that as her hair grows out, it wouldn't be so such a strong transition from for a grow out. The finishing touches are applied with makeup to complement kind of the honey tones that um, we did in her hair. I kept with kind of a dressy, casual, um, bronze, smoky eye. I wanted her eyes to definitely pop, so I went with kind of a smokier shade, kind of a granite graphite shade, and then really played up the eyeliner to make her lashes look thicker. Time for Mia's final look. It's a lot shorter than what I'm used to, but I'm healthier, you know, cut quite a bit of it off, but it's something that, you know, I can grow, can grow with me. I'm really, really excited. I'm ready for change. And now, Tawny's big reveal. This is, I think, more than what I hoped for. I'm really, I love it. It doesn't look like me, so, you know, I like it. It does now. It does now, <laughs> right, it does. It kind of matches what's on the inside, so. I like it a lot. Thank you. Oh, they look great. Thank you, Michael. By the way, Cooper Kai does all of the hairstyling for Team Evening. And if you would like to book an appointment for yourself, we have all the information on our website. He's such an amazing actor, yeah. you know. I mean, just cutting, you know, I'd, I'd be saying the same thing about him, even if he wasn't my dad and we were in this movie together. Up next, Kim sits down with Kate Hudson and Kurt Russell.
Welcome back to the show, everyone. Well, if you watched the Golden Globes on Sunday, you saw a very cute exchange between one of Hollywood's longest running couples, Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell. And now you can watch Kurt in a blockbuster from the comfort of your own couch. Deepwater Horizon came out on Blu-ray and DVD today, and it brought Kurt together with his stepdaughter, Kate Hudson, on screen for the very first time. Here's our interview. Mayday, Mayday, this is Deepwater Horizon. What's wrong? The rocks. Not now, baby. In Deepwater Horizon, Kurt Russell and Kate Hudson's characters are only together for a few seconds, but off screen, the actors have shared three decades as a family. He's such an amazing actor, yeah. you know. I mean, just cutting, you know, I'd, I'd be saying the same thing about him, even if he wasn't my dad and we were in this movie together. But. After more than half a century working in TV and films, Kurtz played everything from Elvis to Wyatt Earp to the infamous Snake Plissken. Two of your films might be two of the movies that I've seen the most in my life, just by virtue of every time they're on, I've watched them. I'm gonna guess that. Okay. Overboard. Are you married? Do you, do you watch it because of your husband? No, I, wa I mean, I watched it watch way it prior because of to you. that. There's not a whole lot of movies that women point out, except for Overboard. I don't know the other one. Best of Times. Ah, there you go. It's an individual So one. good. Yeah, you have a, you have a... Is that a lady film? Do you feel like that's a... No, but it's a fun, it's, it's a, it's a, a fun, fun movie. Yes. <laughs> After all of these years and, like, your crazy vast body of work, do you remember every role do you remember lines do they I do disappear? I mean I remember if, if 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 they're brought up yeah I remember them I'm gonna do this 30th anniversary thing for Big Trouble in Little China at the Grauman's Chinese and I've I've got this and it's a question and answer thing afterwards yeah and I need to see that again <laughs> right because there's gonna be people there who time. know the whole thing oh right? they'll, know, they'll know way more yeah, yeah, than yeah. I do so I'm sure it'll be a disappointment <laughs> <laughs> Don't be surprised if that event shows up on Kate's Instagram, where she prefers to post photos of her real life rather than her Hollywood image. You can, like, take it back there. Yeah, you want it to be sense. you. Yeah. You want to post a picture of a penguin running around like a crazy person and say, this is me. This is me. In a nutshell. <laughs> that is something that was actually kind of, like, for my mom, because I tagged my mom in it. There's nobody I would rather hang out with. Yeah. I just love mom. Yeah. She's really great. And same, same, same thing with my dad, with Kurt. You know, they're really just great people. Yeah. People who are now both her parents and her peers. Uh, we are so deeply appreciative, as from our family <laughs> to yours. This is us star Justin Hartley on the show's emotional new episodes. Get your Kleenexes ready, get your wine ready. Right after this. Welcome back to the show. Well, one of the few good things about the holidays being over is the return of some really great TV shows, including This Is Us, NBC's big breakout drama. Justin Hartley is one of the stars. He joins us now via satellite. Hey, Justin, thanks for joining us. Great to see you. Good to see you. How are you? Well, I mean, well, I can't see you, but um, good to be seen. <laughs> well, This Is Us has been a huge hit ever since it debuted, basically, right. back in September. Did you have any idea it was going to be this big? Yeah, you know, I mean, I so here's here's the thing. I, when I read the pilot, I I knew it was special. I knew it was wonderful, and then um, and then when I saw it, it it translated from the script to the screen, but then the, just. You never know the variable. It's that are people going to watch it? You just never know. Um, uh, there's no way of telling that. There's no formula. There's no algorithm. So, uh, but but people are watching it, which is great. Which means we get to make more. Well, the cast has really great natural chemistry on screen. But are you guys actually friends behind the scenes? Yeah. No. I mean, I hate two out of the five. Five. I hate only two of us. I. But I'm. But I'm one. Of, I'm. I'm. I'm one of them. Actually. I. I. No. Um. We all get along great. Uh, you know. They're. They have become like my best friends. Really. Uh. We. We spend so much time together. But we all rally around each other. We all help each other. And. Um. I mean, they really are. This is a tremendous group of not only actors, talented actors, but this is a tremendous group of people. I mean, I can. I can tell you firsthand. They are just to the man, to the woman. They are wonderful humans and happy to come to work every single day. Oh, that's great. So what can you tell us about the big episode coming tonight? Well, I tell you what, we, so we left, we left you all with a pretty big cliffhanger um, that we will answer within the first 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes of the show, of the episode. 
And then from there, uh, you know, more drama and more hilarity ensues. So I can tell you that the scripts that I've read and that we've shot, we've shot through 14 and we're shooting 15 now. They just keep getting better and better. And I know that it starts to sound cliche, but it's, it's, it's the truth. They do. They get better and better and better. So I'm excited to, to, to have you guys watch it. Well, we are glad right. it's back. Justin, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Of and best of luck. Continued success with the show. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You can watch This Is Us tonight at 9 o'clock right here on King 5. But The Wall is coming up next. And tomorrow night in the evening, we will introduce you to two local brothers who have become huge stars of the monster truck circuit. Thank you so much for joining us. And good night from Capitol Hill and the Central District.